Hey guys, um, Morgan just reached out to me and asked me if I can go live in this group and just kind of talk a little bit about my own personal journey and how coaching has changed my life personally. Um, so I'm going to take a couple minutes today since I have the day off and as I'm outside kind of working on my business right now. But for those of you that don't know me, I'm Tracy Disrupski and I have lost 135 pounds in the last just over two years with Beachbody. Um, so when I tell you that anybody in this world can be a beach body coach, I mean it. And I truly mean that from the heart because if I can do it in the situation that I was when I started, anybody in this world should and could and just try and put your passion into it. I mean, I had no confidence whatsoever when I started this journey. I've always struggled with weight literally my entire life. Um, it got to the point where I had a lot of health issues and I didn't even really know where to begin, to be honest with you. I would avoid doctor's appointments. I started to have high blood pressure. I was 28 years old. I was avoiding my yearly physicals. I was told that I was borderline diabetic. Uh, you name it. Like the medical conditions were getting outrageous and here, Amber. <laughs> And I had full control over my life and I was letting my health take over. So with that, I one day decided, my sister and I had heard about Beachbody on Facebook and she said, you know what, Tracy, why don't we do a challenge together? So we did. And she actually joined with other people and then I joined with um, a friend from Brandon. And we kind of went our separate ways with it. And then my first month, I actually started with T25 and completely fell in love with Shanti, of course. And my first month, I lost 17 pounds, which, of course, was shocking to myself. But honestly, it was the motivation that I needed to, <clears throat> excuse me, to believe in myself and to know that I could do this. And that it was realistic. Like, these programs are realistic. Beachbody has made everything so realistic for us and for us to be able to help other people with it. So anyhow, when I had no idea where to even begin with my own journey and struggle, never mind helping others, so I would have never ever considered becoming a coach. However, after my first month and I had lost 17 pounds, of course people started to notice that I had lost weight. And so they were asking me what exactly I was doing and I would refer them to my coach. And then my second month, you know, it was starting, I had dropped more weight and people started to ask me more and more. And then I guess it was April actually, 2015. And then I told my sister, you know, all these people are asking me what I've done to lose weight. And she said, Tracy, why don't you become a coach? And I literally laughed at her and I said, what? I can't become a coach at the weight that I'm at. I don't even know what the heck to do, you know? And she said, who cares? Try it. Give it a whirl. And so I thought, you know what? To heck with it. I'm going to give it a try. What have I got to lose? I've got nothing to lose. I had so much to gain. So I signed up April 2015. And then honestly, it was the best decision I could have honestly made in my life. Not only um, to help be able to help other people, but in a selfish matter for myself, because I know for a fact I would have never ever succeeded in my own journey as much as I have if uh, if I um, hadn't decided to start posting it on Facebook and sharing with everybody else. And once people started to know what I was doing, like hell, I wanted to go down the slopes and then start gaining all that weight back again, right? So I really stuck with it, which was awesome. And then I just pushed through. I really pushed my fears completely behind me and swallowed my pride on posting on Facebook. Of course, I had tons of people that criticized me and I'm okay with that. You know what? There's criticism everywhere in the world. But then once I started to grow this into such a passion of mine, I really didn't give a shit about the people that were criticizing my posts on Facebook. So that to me was probably one of the hardest things I had to swallow when I started this business was sharing so much about my journey and sharing so much about my life and realizing that the people that were criticizing me were the people that don't even matter anyway. And I know everybody in this group can probably relate to that, but it's the truth. Like, you don't even want those people that are criticizing you. You don't want those people in your life. My gosh, I don't want to help somebody that's going to be negative my whole life. Get out of here. I want those people that are going to be inspired by me and that they want the help and they can relate to my story. 
those are the type of people that I want to have in my life. So you have to just swallow your pride on that. You have to want to just eliminate the negative people. And once I started to turn Facebook into something that I liked and realized that it was my playground and I could turn it into however I wanted it to be, frick my, <laughs> my business like flew. And I know that's crazy, but it's true. Like once I stopped realizing that those five people that were always criticizing me, they really didn't matter, then it was amazing. I did realize though that the amount of friends that have criticized me and made fun of me, they are the ones that refuse to support me. But you know what? Facebook is a huge world and it's amazing who you can reach with that. And probably your closest friends and your family are going to be your eventually become your worst support. I know that's kind of hard to swallow, but it's true. Like you have to just swallow that and uh, realize that there's a big world out there. You can help a lot of people and don't get, don't take the wind out of your sails by the few people that are criticizing you. Hi, <laughs> sorry, my neighbor's just outside. Um, but thankfully I learned quickly that personal development was a huge, huge, huge key to my business because once I realized how to deal with people like that and build my own confidence then it was an amazing feeling like I didn't really care what everybody thought about me once I started to teach myself how not to um once you build your own confidence you learn how not to let those like negative remarks even take the wind out of your sails so it's pretty cool so I definitely suggest you guys work on personal development every single day I don't suggest you guys take like two hours a day nobody has time for that but you know what there's days that I only read three pages of my book or when I'm in the shower I'll listen to 15 minutes of a podcast or whatever it is and whatever I feel like I'm struggling with at the time that's what I need to do because I also know that when my energy is really low in life and whatever I'm struggling with then my team does and it's just a very circle you manifest what you put out there that is for sure for sure uh, one of the questions Morgs asked me to answer was my financial success. Well, uh, Beachbody has done so much more than just my financial success, but <clears throat> with that, it helps me pay my mortgage every single month. I don't touch any of my hydro income with it. It has allowed me to invest thousands and thousands of dollars in the last two years that I never imagined I'd ever be able to do. But thankfully with Beachbody, I have put into tax-free, into um, RSPs and just different things and it's allowed me to travel so much more than I ever ever imagined and do you think when I was 135 pounds overweight when I started this that I ever in a million years imagined I'd be winning trips with this business or going on the most amazing trips that you're surrounding yourself with the people that are like-minded like yourself and some of my best friends now and who I chat with every single day are Beachbody coaches and it's truly truly amazing this world of Beachbody is awesome and I literally thank Carl Dykler every single day in my journal when I go to bed for thanking him for having this vision to help so many people and for me to be able to pay my journey forward to so many people in the world it's truly incredible you guys so take the opportunity and do the best you can find your passion within this and you can fly with it so i hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend and good luck with your coaching career chat soon